Okay folks, welcome back. Today I'd like to take out some time to talk about canteen covers and uh, water carriers in general. Now, as you may have noticed, I have a fairly substantial uh, collection of things that carry water. I like canteens, canteen covers. Um, water carriers, water bottles in general, other less conventional methods of uh, carrying it around. And, and the reason why I put so much emphasis on that is, uh, well, water is pretty damn important. You know, it, it's uh, one of the building blocks of life. You need it to survive. You need it more than you need uh, food. So having something to carry water in, having several things to carry water in, uh, and knowing the appropriate amounts that you need per day, having the appropriate equipment to sanitize your water, or boil your water, or cook, you, cook your meals, becomes uh, extremely important. So, especially in the field where you may not have access to all the amenities that you do in uh, modern living. So, I have been on a quest to find the best canteen cover for my purposes. And I think I found, uh, after a lot of searching, some pretty good contenders. So, first of all, I'd just like to show you what the standard canteen cover is. This is the standard canteen cover nylon. This is a reproduction. Um, it's pretty darn close to the original. If you go and look at my military surplus kit video, you'll see the differences between this and a surplus one. There's not very much difference at all. It has this pouch on the side. This is for carrying water purification tablets like Polar Pure or potable aqua tablets. Otherwise, just has a small drainage hole, flaps, and reveal the canteen. It's uh, insulated on the inside, and the reason for this is to keep the water cold. And you can soak this in water, and it will keep the, the uh, canteen cold. Uh, through convection. On the back, uh, this originally came with Alice clips. I replaced those with Malice clips. These don't come with them. This is a Maxpedition product. So anyway, um, this is your standard canteen uh, cover. It it doesn't do a bad job for for what it for what it is, um, but it it has some flaws. Some of the flaws are people have complained. I haven't had this problem myself, but other people have stated that these snaps can come undone easily. The canteen fits loosely in the pouch. You can't really use the pouch for anything else, which I agree, that's a problem. And it doesn't have a lot of capacity to store other things on the pouch, and I also agree that that's a problem. So it is a bit limited in what you can do with it. But as just a normal high-speed canteen cover, it does a fairly good job. Now, uh, one of the things that I found to upgrade to is this canteen cover here. And this is sold as a canteen cover or also sold as a utility pouch. And um, this is, is has a Molly 2 compatibility on the back. And I've just run through the back here a standard uh, nylon strap from a m another little backpack thing that I had, um, pouch type thing. So here is is one of the contenders that I'm going to use for my new canteen um, cooking system. And the idea was to get something that had pouches on either side that could carry everything that I needed to cook with and uh, to purify water. So this is 
one pouch that fulfills that pretty nicely. Undo the strap here, and then it has elastics on either side. You loosen those up, and then obviously with the buckle system, it's hard to, to harder for it to fall out accidentally. And then pull out your canteen. Because of the way this couch is designed, it's a little bit harder to get things out of it. You have your standard canteen cup, metal folding handles, your canteen stand or stove that fits inside, and some tin foil to act as a cover so you can boil water faster. Now this this uh, pouch is not insulated; it just has a, a sort of plastic lining. And when you when you uh, see it for sale, it'll probably be arranged something like this with this cover over top. And you can use this pouch to carry M16 magazines as well, so it has multifunction there. The, the side pouch, I carry my Altoids tin. Uh, alcohol stove, and in the other side pouch, I have the fuel for that stove and the potable aqua tablets, the water purification tablets. Again, this is what the pouch looks like when you are to going to buy it in the store. So, as you can see, this system now carries everything that I need to cook with and to purify water. You may also be able to carry a small filter uh, in this pouch. I have not tested that as I don't have any filter that is small enough, but you might be able to use an Aquamira straw type filter just if you substituted some of the other items. You could probably fit a water filter in here as well. Again, the ubiquitous grommet holes and uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Having the this webbing here already included is, is nice. You don't have to add anything there. You don't have to worry about it. And then, of course, I've added the shoulder strap, and that just makes it more convenient for me to carry around when I'm not wearing it on my belt. Now, then we move up to this type of system here. And this is, I have no idea what this is actually, it has no labeling on it, but I believe it's sold as a utility pouch or a ration pouch or in some cases a canteen pouch. And it's uh, quite large, which is good in this case. It has a long strap here so we can fit oversized items and it has webbing on the outside so you can attach additional pouch if you needed more. Again, the ubiquitous grommet and extensive pals webbing on the back with the mouse clips, long, long clips. Velcro and a water resistant uh, inside. So all in all, this is a really excellent pouch. And one of the nice things about this is okay, so you have your normal canteen cover with the canteen cooking system inside. Okay, with a little forcing, we've got it inside. Now, so now you have something that will fit nicely on your belt, um, but this pouch here can be uh, fit on a backpack fits more readily on a backpack, or you could use a shoulder sling with it, or you can fit it on uh, a vest, or something like that. And, in it, and so you have the redundancy of having something you can put on your belt if you need to, and then you've got this extra pouch here. And it also has room in the top so that you can fit more items. What we're going to do is going to fit our 
potable aqua and our alcohol bottle and our stove in the top there. And there you have it. All fits inside. It'll rattle a little bit, but have all the items you need. of this extra pouch. And then of course put your potable aqua in that pouch there. Now there's some other advantages with this system. Obviously the entire top of the canteen is covered. This protects it and it also makes it very difficult for the canteen to fall out. As well, with this pouch, it's large enough that it can fit many other items and serve as a utility pouch as well as a ration pouch. And I'll illustrate that now. Okay, again we have the uh, canteen, utility pouch, ration pouch. goes by several names. Inside, you can carry a, a uh, MRE, ration. And this is a uh, 1990s era ration. It also fits the newer rations that are cut a little bit more sloppily. So they're larger, but they will fit inside this pouch as well. And you have a little bit of room in the top. Now, what else can you fit in this pouch? Well, this pouch will fit the Catadyne Extreme XR water purifier with significant room, extra room, to put in uh, fuels, stove fuel, or a variety of other things. You can see it fits inside. Here is a uh, stainless steel thermos. This has enough room. You could probably fit two of these inside this pouch. So uh, excellent for carrying those around as well. So you have access to hot water. Here is the standard Nalgene carrier that is typically sold. It's a decent pouch in of itself, but again, it doesn't carry anything besides just the Nalgene. If we want to couple the Nalgene with a large can for cooking purposes, as well as it has a little handle attached, this is all DIY, then it, uh, it, it won't fit in any other uh, pouch or container unless we use something like this that's larger. Fits inside, quite easily inside with room to spare in the top. And we'll carry your Nalgene bottle as well. So for overall versatility, I would probably go with a pouch like this. Again, it's, it goes by many names, canteen, utility, ration pouch, things like that should be able to pick up at one of these at your local army surplus store or if you want the high speed low drag version you can get one of these these are also called a canteen or utility pouch they hold AR-15 style magazines or of course the canteen and uh, accessories that you may have so on my search for the perfect canteen cover. I didn't. I didn't only find one perfect one. I found two perfect ones. But um, again, for overall versatility, I'd probably go with something like this because you can carry rations. You can carry a variety of different size bottles, as well as the normal canteen uh, system complete. This is a little bit more high speed.
speed, slim down, trim down, and can carry the basics of the canteen cooking system and your stove. So anyway, uh, I hope this has been informative. Thank you for watching. Hey folks, it's Bob Dew here on behalf of Rangers Radio, and today we're going to go over what is in an MRE. Now, there's probably hundreds of videos about uh, what is in an MRE, but they're pretty crappy, so I'm going to try to make a better video, and uh, it was requested, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is a menu number two. Uh, corned beef hash MRE from uh, Right Away Foods, McAllen, Texas. This is uh, issue circa mid-90s, I believe. Uh, you can see it's in a dark brown plastic pouch versus the lighter tan pouch that we have now, and it's cut a little bit nicer. It's not as uh, large of a package. Now, I had opened this one previously, and I just had just used some duct tape to seal it, and um, the only thing missing from this is the heater bag, because I used that to do an experiment to see if it will boil water on its own, and the answer is no, it won't. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's go into what's inside this here. We have our main entree that's in a cardboard pouch. Uh, the cardboard pouch is for uh, putting in the heater bag to keep it uh, standing up. And uh, it's also supposed to protect it from uh, moisture and other impacts and things like that. But inside you have the uh, main entree in the vacuum sealed uh, plastic pouch here. What is this? Hmm. Doesn't say what it is. That always disturbs me. Anyway, it's a brown package of something or other. This is the uh, cocoa beverage powder, type 1 fortified. Uh, this, these little packages are uh, one nugget of gold inside these uh, MRE packages. If you can get these by themselves, they're great. Uh, just, you know, handy to have. Here's your uh, MRE accessory packet. Inside is a miniature bottle of Tabasco sauce, some instant coffee, some chewing gum, sugar, uh, uh, one of those little wet wipe things, uh, and some tissue. There's usually matches in here and some other stuff as well. Uh, we have our spoon. All-inclusive MRE spoon with a long handle, very nice. We have a um, root uh, that you're supposed to reconstitute. It's freeze-dried, apparently. So you add water to that, I guess. Ah, the crackers. Um, these are loved and hated. Uh, they don't taste anything like uh, crackers that you're probably used to, but um, they have a peanut butter spread or a cheese spread that usually goes with these. Uh, oh, we have some apple jelly. And an oatmeal cookie bar. That's probably pretty good. Some lemonade drink mix, sugar free. Ugh, nutri sweet. Don't like that. Anyway, uh, that's it. And of course, you can also, this uh, pouch was intended so that you can um, gather water with it. It's a, it's a fairly robust pouch, actually. And uh, that protects the food.
food inside. So um, again, that's a uh, corned beef hash, menu number two. Uh, it's the main entree, plus all the accessories. And uh, we'll have a uh, close-up shot here of that stuff in just a minute. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's our uh, detailed shot of what's in an MRE. We have uh, the accessory packet, oatmeal cookie bar, apple jelly, crackers, lemonade drink mix, cocoa powder, the mystery pouch, uh, dehydrated fruit, the main entree which is corned beef hash, our MRE spoon, and the menu number two pouch that holds all this stuff in here. So uh, that's that. Here I'll give you a little bit of uh, close-up action on each item here. Oatmeal cookie bar. Apple jelly. Accessory packet. Lemonade drink mix. Crackers. Cocoa beverage powder. Mystery item. Dehydrated fruit. Reconstitute, as you can see that there, barely. Our corned beef half hash entree. Corned beef hash. The MRE, MRE spoon. And the bag. MREs. Meal ready to eat. Individual. Menu number two. Corned beef hash. Okay, that's it.